Hi everyone, today we're going to do this little part here, we're not doing this one, this little part here of this flower wreath. This is from World of Flowers and my version is actually in Johanna Basford's 2021 Weekly Planner. Now this flower here, this bit and this bit, I think is a kangaroo paw um, Australian flower, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure but that's how I'm going to colour it. So I'm going to start with a really bright and vibrant orange colour number two. This is from my Stedler Ergosofts, which is what we've been using for all of this picture. And from what I can gather, this whole, this part is going to be quite orangey. Um, now I have been very lucky enough to go to Australia, but I didn't see any of these while I was there. I'm, as you can see, I'm going to start the stem and just put some colour going up towards the end but I'm going to add a lighter colour towards the end. That's how it looks in the, some of the pictures that I've used to have a reference. Now when I went to Australia it was winter so there weren't any of these many flowers around. did still get to go in the bush and look at the sort of what the plants and things. It's a long time ago though. Okay, I'm going to go for a lighter shade now, but I'm going to jump down two shades. I'm not going to go for the next orange, I'm going to go for a lighter one, which is number four. And I'm going to go all the way over the top of this and then take it almost to the tip. Yeah, I was, gosh, I, was, I don't like to say how long ago it was when I went, but let me think, I must have been... 24 or 5, crikey, I am now 47, that's quite a long time ago wasn't it, wow, I had a great time though, Been there for about 6, 6 weeks, maybe a bit longer, I can't remember now, but uh, it was lovely, um, I'm going to use this sort of peachy colour number 43 to finish them off. Yeah, I stayed with my, I've got an aunt out there. She very kindly puts up all of that time. Um, my parents, my sister and I, and my gran. It's a really memorable experience and I hope my children get to do something quite memorable but like that too. But unfortunately, we haven't really had taken them on many holidays. We haven't, they haven't been abroad at all. And they're 15. I was thinking about maybe doing it this um, summer um, once they finish their GCSEs but I'm not sure that's going to be an option that any of us are going to feel very comfortable with this year. So we may just wait for a little while longer. Now the stems of these, they look quite bright but I don't, then I'm going to actually do them this colour. The number 50. If they end up looking too bright, I'll um, tone them down a bit, but I think they look quite bright. So I'm just doing an even amount. I'm not sure if those bits should have been red or orange, but anyway, I'm not familiar with these plants. I do remember um, we had a tea towel with some Australian plants on, which my aunt sent to my mum once. That was always great fun. Now I'm looking down here at all these stems and stalks and trying to work out which ones are the grass and which ones are this and I think that one now this is always a little bit tricky that one and that one and I think these two are these grassy bit and I I wonder if these grassy bit are actually part of this plant and whether they should be this colour as well I think they should I'd do them all the same Let's just go for it. Because I was going to do that grassy bit the same as this. And I still will, even if it's supposed to be the leaves of this. I'm going to do more the same colour. Now you can see I'm not shading here. I'm just using this one colour. I like it. I think it's looking good. That's why I'm, I'm not going to try risk spoiling it by adding anything else got these here as well and then I don't know if you can see those you can so just doing these as well I 
I'm sorry I'm not talking here. It's, they're a bit thin. I've got to concentrate. Anyway, there we go. And I'm going to do this leaf, leaf bunch here. Now, this is for this flower, but I completely forgot to do it. So we'll do it now. Now, what we need is a colour which isn't the green we just did and isn't that green. So we need something quite dark. So I'm going to grab this colour here. It's, it's a bit blunt. We'll see how we go with it, which is number five. And... Uh, I'm just going to do a gentle layer across the whole leaf like I do sometimes while I'm thinking about what to do with it. And I'll talk you through my thought process. Now what I'm thinking is, do we make the tip darker? Do we make the base darker where it's um, meeting the petals? And I'm also looking at this um, to overlap bit here. What do we do with that? And we've got this sort of vein or whatever this is in the middle, what do you call that? I'm not sure. Um, do we emphasize that by shading either side of it to make it look like it's three dimensional? Or do we just sort of color over it and ignore it? These are all the questions that are going through in my head as I'm coloring. Now, because we've kept the leaves and things quite simple on this page, my I would immediately decide to ignore this vein in the middle and not to try and make it stand out. I think what that would do was make this particular leaf bunch stand out from all the others and I don't really want that to happen. Now I've decided that I'm going to colour it darker near the, um, near the petals because I think this bit here might be dipped in a little bit and if we take some darker layers here that might make it look like it is. So I'm just doing darker coverage on this, on the bottoms of all of the leaves, basically. I'm gonna take that up to the tip. No, we won't take that up to the tip. What am I saying? We'll do something else with the tip. I'm going to take this one up a little bit further because of it being a bigger leaf. And I'm also thinking we'd have a little bit of shadow under where it's turned over. So I'll just pop that in as well. Okay, now this rest of it, I want to do something with it looks a bit dull. So I'm going to add in another colour. Now I've got a choice. I'm going to use this one, number 50. We have used it here, but it's going to look quite different once it's mixed in with this. So well, hopefully it won't look too much the same. If it does, we can put a bit more of the dark green on top. Now all I'm doing is adding enough so that it covers most of the white. Well, I say most of the white, as far as I can see. Now you're zoomed in more than I am. You see it better than I can. So uh, there's probably loads of white showing, but it's just looks more finished in my head. Now the overlap bit I have left, I need to keep talking about it so I don't forget it entirely. It would be very like me to think I'd finished. Now I don't want that to look as bright and vibrant so I'm going to just do a little layer of this. And I might go back to this dark green, the number five. Sorry I'm covering it over. And just do a little tad more of that on it. I don't want it too dark, I'm pressing ever so lightly. I just want enough to make it look finished, but not a vibrant, shiny colour. So there we are, I'm finishing there. Um, this this um, one we're going to do on another day, so don't worry, we will get round to it. Just not, not now, I think that's enough for today. So that's that one, so there's the kangaroo paw and the leaves. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and happy colouring.